Now, I try to keep politics away from this channel, but just every now and then the two happen to meet. And when they do, magic seems to happen. So, I'm waking up in the morning, I'm having my coffee, and then I see this title on The Independent. Absolutely disgraceful. Anger, as Paul Gossard shares anime clip showing him killing AOC. And I'm like, what the hell? What are you talking about, man? What is going on? Like a senator did this? And then I click. And it turns out that he just made a anime Photoshop. Like some really, really cringy stuff. It made me turn like a pretzel as I watched the low edit. And unfortunately, I can't show it to you here because of copyright issues. But you can go on Twitter and you can find it for yourself. It is absolutely cringeworthy. It's, hello fellow kids, how are you doing? Here's some animu. And apparently everyone is livid. And by the way, people were also livid when Donald Trump did exactly the same. He took a Bollywood poster with a couple of Indians fighting each other and he photoshopped his face on an Indian general. And then you had like people from the mainstream media. Oh my God, Trump is doing violence. Oh, I'm literally shaking. I am quaking. I am so afraid. Get the fuck off Twitter. You weak ass shit, if you can't watch that, if you literally think that a photoshop is threatening violence, you belong in a mental asylum, not with the rest of us healthy people on Twitter. Alright, you are weak. Weakness should not be encouraged. But let's be honest, like in reality they know what they are doing, it's the headline. Because you just read this headline... And you see like, oh my god, the GOP member is threatening to kill... Well, what? He's the Hasashin? He is Agent 47? What is going on, right? So you see the headline, and it reinforces the idea that the GOP are evil people. Meanwhile, you have Kathy Griffin with a stunt that I don't even think I can show on YouTube, because it is so grotesque, where she has the beheaded head of the US president in her hand, right? And that is fine. No, that is artistic. That is, she's an artist. She's expressing her art. But if someone does a Photoshop, oh my god, they're literally afraid. Look at them, like the chickens. They're cowards. Cowards. In reality, they're not cowards, right? Like they know exactly what they're doing. They're trying to sell you outrage. Now, what's really interesting is that they're really upset about the imagery. Like if you read the article, it's like, oh my god, he put AOC's face on a monster and it shows him jumping with the sword. And yeah, it's really great that none of these chuckleheads actually watched Attack on Titan. Because my god, the story in Attack on Titan is about a group of people that are demonized because of what their ancestors have done. So none of those people actually did anything, but their ancestors were bad people, and because of that, they are incredibly demonized. And they're put into internment camps, and they're being oppressed. Until one day, those people snap, and they actually do what their ancestors were uh, accused of doing. Like, they, they literally do even worse. Because they had enough. Like, they couldn't take it anymore. And it's like, alright, fine. You accuse us of being devils, let's be the devils you want us to be. And that is the story in Attack on Titan. I think if they would do the actual story, they would freak out a little bit more. And of course, like, this tweet violated the Twitter rules. Of course, he's the violator. When you have... Kathy Griffin doing her stunt, that is progressive. When you had actors talking about assassinating a president or, or all of that, that is progressive. That gets to be on Twitter. Someone makes like a really cringe, just so you can understand how cringy this is. All right? Just so you can understand, like, look, it, it is unbelievably cringy. Like, it makes me feel like a pretzel. It, it, it's like, again, hello, fellow kids, the animu. Horrible. All right? But no, no, this this is violence. This this is literally violence. They're literally shaking. The chickens in the roost are literally shaking. Okay, fine. Let's not scare the chickens. They might see a shadow. The little bunnies, they might get a little bit afraid of something on the internet. I get it. But uh, what I don't get is why Representative Paul Gossar is a coward. Why did he say that only people who can uh, follow him can reply? Like this is before the Twitter decided to shut it down. Uh, why Why is it saying that uh, only people that follow him can reply? It's like, fucking own it. If you're going to do something cringy, own it. 
All right, just let people respond. Let people interact with your stuff. Why? Why are you shutting it down? Why are you account? Why are you giving disabilities to the comment section? I I don't want to see a single person that is against wokeism do this bullshit. Like, who can reply? No, this is something that only people with mental illness should get as prescribed from their doctor. You know, like some people with mental illness, they cannot engage with other adults. They're afraid. They're scared. So they put this in order for no one to actually respond to them. Normal adults, healthy human beings, they are not afraid of conversation because they, they can have discourse even with people that disagree. So if you're going to do something controversial and you want my respect, I assume that you're going to allow the conversation to follow. Even Kathy Griffin didn't close her comment section. Although, let's be honest, like back then she couldn't have. Back then, the Tumblrization of the Twitter wasn't complete, so you didn't actually have access to this feature. If you posted something on the Twitter, you actually had to allow people to follow your conversation unless you closed down your entire account. And it was only people who can follow you that would be able to participate in the discourse. But honestly, like this feature is so cancerous. Like I, I hope that not a single person that I respect uses it. It is like the lowest of the low. It, why would you do something like this? It's like you post something and you, like you're not interested in what anyone else wants to say. It's like, okay, then why are you doing it on social media? Why, why are you sharing it with the class? Fuck off. By the way, like this is also a very good way of selecting what YouTube videos you should watch. If I see a single YouTube channel with comments that have disability, unless YouTube forces you to, and I think like there's a couple of reasons, like maybe you have like children there or it's a video made for kids or something like that that youtube forces you to have disabilities but i don't know that like no person should disable the comments ever under any circumstance if you do that you're a coward you're weak i don't care what you have to say because you're not interested in a dialogue you're just interested in preaching so minus points for republican paul gosar uh lulzy points for the left that are chickens and rabbits and they want to rule a nation right because that that's like the democratic party they want to govern a nation when they are a bunch of chickens when they shit their pants over something that they see on twitter how are they going to react in a case of diplomacy between iran or china they shit their pants over what's happening on twitter how, how do they engage with other foreign nations is oh well actually we know we saw what happened in afghanistan so i guess i guess we know how they engage all right now uh let me know what you guys think Again, I usually don't try to bring politics on this channel, but I, I just saw like something and I was like, okay, this is the cringiest thing ever. Like, surely he's going to get a backlash from the right. Like, surely people like myself will say, dude, you're cringe, stop it. But no, instead we get a backlash from the left, who are literally shaking right now, and I have to comment something about it. It's like, okay, if this gets you to be literally shaking, then I don't think you deserve to be in a position where you can make deals with other international nations, because... How, how can you be in charge of NATO if you're literally shaking over things that you see on Twitter? You know, I, I, I'm worried about their health. I think they need to stay at home, relax and calm down. So next time you go to vote, don't vote for these people. They're literally shaking. And don't, don't click on their articles either. I mean, these journalists are afraid. They're scared, right? They, they're anxious. So I, I think they should stop working in the journalistic profession. It's bad for their health. They need to go home and relax. Sit in bed and watch cartoons. So let other people that have more fortitude and more strength of character to do the more difficult jobs in society, like journalism. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.